Hi friends. So today we are going to talk about revenue, COGS and cross margin. I know there are a lot of financial terms that you have been often wondering where to get the answers from. This channel is going to answer all of them. Now let's talk about the first topic that is revenue. Imagine there is a store called Yum Donuts and this store is selling donut for $10 each. On a particular day, the store started selling donuts and at the end of the day, the store was able to sell a total of 10 donuts. By the way, talking about donuts, did you guys know that Dunkin Donuts, which is one of the largest chains of donuts in the world, actually makes more money by selling coffee rather than donuts. Anyway, coming back to our topic, revenue is the total value of goods or services sold by a particular company. In this case, 10 donuts multiplied by $10 give, gives Yum Donuts a total revenue of $100. So that is the total revenue for Yum Donuts. Now that we know about revenue, let's look at the next term called COGS. People often confuse what this fancy term COGS is. COGS or cost of goods sold refers to the direct cost of producing the goods sold by a company. I repeat, it's the direct cost incurred by a company to produce the goods. Please note, it excludes indirect expenses such as distribution cost, sales force cost and marketing cost. Now we already know about our company Yum Donuts, which is manufacturing donuts. Now to make these donuts, the company spent about $10 in labor cost and it also spent $10 in sourcing the raw material. So the cogs for Yum Donuts in this case would be $10 plus $10, which is a total of $20. Now let's look at the next topic, which is cross margin. Cross margin is a company's revenue minus its cost of goods sold. In case of Yum Donuts, the total revenue is $100 and the total COGS is $20. So the cross margin for Yum Donuts is going to be $100 minus $20, which is a total of $80 of cross margin. Another extension to gross margin is gross margin percentage. Now gross margin percentage is calculated as gross margin divided by total revenue multiplied by 100. So in case of Yum Donuts, that's going to be a gross margin of $80 divided by a total revenue of $100 multiplied by 100 and the percentage is going to be 80%. Now what does this mean? For every $100 of revenue generated by Yum Donuts, $80 is retained while $20 is attributed to the cost of goods sold. The retained $80 amount can be used to pay off general and administrative expenses, interest expenses, rent or other expenses. And whatever is left after that is going to be the profit of the company. Now, I would strongly recommend you all to go and find out what's the gross margin of your company and that could give you an interesting conclusion. So if you guys are wondering what is the correct cross margin percentage, the answer to that is it varies from the industry to industry. In case of cement industry, a company like ACC Cement has a gross margin percentage of 12%. That means for every $100 of goods that ACC Cement sells, about $88 of that goes into the cost of goods sold and it's only left with $12 for expenses and profit. If we look at an automobile company like Honda, the gross margin percentage is about 20%. It gets even better for an e-commerce company like Amazon, in which case the gross margin percentage is about 40%. If you guys have heard about this company called AstraZeneca, which is one of the strong contenders to come out with the COVID-19 vaccine, you would be very much amused to know that the gross margin percentage of a pharmaceutical company can range at about 80%. So again, as I said, it varies from industry to industry, and you must go and check what's the gross margin percentage of your company. So I hope with that you are clear on revenue, COGS and cross margin. If you would like to see similar content in future, please go to the comment box below and let me know on what topic you want me to make the next video on. Meanwhile, please do subscribe to the channel and like the video and I hope to connect with you all soon.